everybody. One moment. How are you? Welcome back. My name is Iris Smith and I'm the owner of a small business called The Flower Patch where I make beautiful artificial flower arrangements from wreaths, door swags, things for your home decor, funeral tributes, things for the garden, weddings and much more. Right today guys, um, I just want to say that I'm going to do, as you can see, my flip flops. I've, been, I've ordered another one, uh, it's just slightly different but it's got the flip flops in a row. Um, I can't help myself, it's summertime come soon, soon, we haven't even got to spring yet properly. Right, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it quite colourful. I'm not going to do it compact. I want all different colours. Um, we've got, as you can see in here, red, green, blue, um, orange, yellow and white. So, I'm going to go quickly through what we've got. And these are just red, deep, well, more like a deep red hydrangeas. I've took them off and placed them on their own little pig. And we're going to have some of those. So there's one part of our red. And I've got my, I want it to be really wispy. So, and I don't mind being able to see through the grapevine because I just want it to be airy and wispy today. Um, so I've got my uh, baby uh, gerbras in uh, red with some orange in. So hence the orange, um, I've also got my baby gerberas in yellow because we've got yellow upon the tops where the tosses go for your flip flops. And then I've got green, we've got green in, so I'm using green, maybe these, you know, I really, really can't make my mind up of place of bits aside oh and I forgot my also my blue again we've got blue mini gerberas or baby gerberas again so I've got three different type, colors of baby gerberas and then I thought let's have just something big and pastel and so I've got out my um, peonies with the odd little uh, daisy and um, their own little uh, bit of a still be on and foliage I thought we could just add the odd one in if not those then I've got out my mixture of daisies some uh, daisy sprays some I've got bobbles on some uh, not got as many leaves on or oh, petals and some are slightly different shade so there's a mixture in there so that's for our floral guys now for our foliage I'm using oriental ruscus I'm going to place some of that for the wispiness again I'm placing some of these in because the light colour summery light that's what we need but at the same time guys, I ordered these and they arrived this morning. I've ordered a few, a few. And these are my twirly ferns. What I, fiddlehead ferns on a bunch. Look at those, aren't they beautiful? I love these. When I saw them from my wholesaler, I just, had I skipped that by them once didn't realize and then when I went back I thought I'm sure I've seen those before and then when I spotted them oh guys I've got to have these I really have so we're gonna have some fiddlehead fern with a bit of um, I think this is a bit of cypress or some more a like, little bit of fern with it but look at the curls on that isn't that sweet? So I've got a few of those as well. And I've also the 
my Jiminis, my oh, baby Gerbras, some people know them as. Um, I had to order some pink ones. They've arrived today as well. I ordered 24 bunches again, but just in pink. I've squeezed them in. Literally, guys, squeezed them in. Oh my good gracious me. I don't know how. I'm running out of room. I really am. I'm going to have to get a racking system up across the opposite side, behind the camera, get rid of that little stand there and place a big racking system up to place more things in and take one of my workbenches out because I might end up coming in the centre. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah. And I've also ordered some more dry foam. That's arrived this morning as well. Oh. So, and I've got my cat who just wants to sit by my side, don't you, Moles? Say, yes, Mum. Let's get the floral down that side. Oh, and I've done a bow. A nice, brightly coloured bow. I've not attached it yet because this is going to be our bow zone here. So, what and I've placed all the tail ends at the bottom. There isn't any at the top. Look at the blue. Isn't that fabulous? Two and a half inch, if I can get it. Um, beautiful pattern, very good quality. Um, that uh, is in blue with the white daisies. Then I've added a bit of green because I've tried to pick up what we've got on the side. I've add some green I haven't got red because I've used on this green one there's red down the sides and then I've got orange again here and then green again with some white daisies on and then I placed a little loop of the blue in the center so the bigger ones on the outside that is a five inch the green ones five inch the stripy one the orange one's four and a half inch. The uh, green one in the centre with the white daisies, that is uh, four inch, and the one in the centre is three inch. So that is how I've done it. And as I've cut the tail ends, with the blue being at the back, the daisies, that's the longest. And my second one I cut slightly shorter. And then the orange one I cut shorter than the stripy green. And then the green one I cut shorter with the daisies than the orange. And then the blue I cut shorter. So they're all at different heights. So that is beautiful. Really summery colour. But this is going to go, I'm not going to attach it yet. This is going to go around here. Doesn't that look divine? So, summary. Where it says welcome, and we're going to do bits all around here. So, I must leave. I could place it actually in the centre. If I just grab it again, just to hold it. Have them coming down for the bow zone, and then the floral there, and the floral there. So, we can get to see the whole side without the bow hiding it. So I may do that. But first of all, let's get our wispy bits in. A wispy arrangement. I've just got the bigger floral. I don't know if I want to put those peonies in. I keep looking at them. Uh, I may go for a, a different color of peony. Or I may go for a rose. Um, but the, I'm doing this. And I'm going to just manipulate this. We'll come to the peony when we get there. And again, I want it wispy. So I'm just going over here. So it can just sit on its own like that. So let's place it in, just slide it in, and 
I'm going to do one around the bottom as well. Let that sit like that. Just manipulate it. tags are quite easy to get off and these are the ones that they stick onto the stem and I want to go here again remember it's wispy wispy day for a summer's day now go over, let's go up I might need a bit more space. Remembering this is our, our bow zone now I've decided it's going to be here. I can bring that one up there. It's going to have lots of movement guys. Just to give you an idea of the different, you know, styles instead of having it, everything all, you know, comp well, not just compact, a certain way, you know, you can have airiness. I'm going to bring something like that in, like that. And I'm going to do it also here to bring some of it inside as well. So let's go and spread it. And it doesn't matter if it sticks out, guys. I know some people may be thinking, oh my gosh, that's sticking out a lot. No, it's that's the theme. It's going to be airy, movement everywhere. And again, I don't mind look, seeing the uh, inside of the grapevine. I like airy. I like wispy. I like airy. It's my favourite thing on a, when I do designs. You should know me, guys. You've seen. You've seen seen plenty of times how I uh, always add my uh, wispy bits in. Just place that on there, okay, bring that through. I want some at the top as well. I'm just going to obviously blend it in and I'm going to put one again remembering our bow zone. Let's go here. Light one up here. So let it do its movement all by itself. I'm going to place one here. I 
I'm surprised the cat hasn't started playing with them. Because he likes wispy things. Right, I'm going to use some of our Himalayan Maiden Hair Fern as well. I'm going to bring some of that on the inner side. Again. Oh, I hope that's not a delivery for me again. <laughs> I've heard like a van door or it may be my husband. Oh, we've got um, I, th I don't know whether I've, I've said we've got some w road works and that for the water going off for the underground uh, drainage so when it rains the water can go with somewhere without flooding any you know places um, and they're going to do be doing on my street right at the end of my drive um, so and that starts from, I think they said 26th of March guys, so you, when I'm doing my videos you may hear some loud noises, really loud, because they're going to be using machinery, so... And I, there's nothing I can do. It needs to be done apparently. It's a pity they don't do the potholes. Because <laughs> they're a nuisance. The cat. He's closing his eyes because the heater is facing him. So the heat is making him close his lovely little eyes. Oh, he stayed out last night. He wouldn't come in. So I left him out. Got up this morning and was sat at the window crying for his food. And again, as you can see, I'm just placing these you know, around where this it's going to help to make it look wispy I think I'm going to use this full stem I'm going to place one here I know the bow, this is the bow zone but we need something here going to place one there. I know when you hear me talk about boundary, you, you know, decide on how far with your boundary. Because this is A wispy one. I've not. I've, if you if you can see, I've got a sort of a boundary, but because some pieces are longer than others, you know they are slightly higher than that boundary. Um, but that, you know, is all part of the design that we are going with today. You know the wispiness um, and the airy feeling, and also the natural feeling. Um, there's, you know, there's no uh, particular area that I must say, to, you know, right, let's stay in between this area, don't go over past that one. Um, I think I need one there.
Right, so that is that. I've got one piece left, I'll just see. Let's get the bow on now. So now I've got what I want around. Just trying to Just trying to place the zip tie over or the cable tie. Let me just get my pliers so I can pull it. So now our bow is in place, you will see look how pretty it looks with all the wispiness You could poke some of this through as well. Let me just turn and have a look from a distance. That needs to sit there. Alright, so I'm going to be placing that just here. Doesn't that look great? A different style, guys, where it's, you've not really got to think, I mean, obviously you've got to play, put your placement and place your things in and think about where they're going. Uh, but instead of it being, you know, quite where there's a certain uh, foliage and then a certain flower we've got it you know in a certain area we've got it spread everywhere so i want to put in my wispy i think they would look pretty there look against the greens reds always look super against greens the blues so it's going to be a wispy day I, I'm dead excited I'm pushing all these up because they all are push ups and let's swivel them around like they're a helicopter blade well I say that <laughs> when I come up with an idea of something it don't go the way I say it <laughs>
just looking. This is where I say there is placement of your florals and your foliage. It's just knowing where they're going to look, the, you know. Now, if I place the blue there, I think it, you won't see these wispy bits as much. So they may, da, may have to come around here. And I think it's the reds and the down here. So first of all, I'm going to place in a hydrangea. This can be my bigger floral head. And I'm going to place that like that. Stay there, young man. I know what you're like. And again, I'm going to place one here also. And I'm not pushing these right to the base of the wreath. Um, because again, I want that airy feeling. I don't want them feeling like they are compact or, you know, flat, like a pancake curry. One more. Let me just have a look at these pink peonies. Oh no, no. Straight away guys, they don't go with it. They don't go with the actual colour. Um, I spotted something earlier on. So now I'm going to place in the blue. So I'm going to go with the wispy bits again. And we're going to bring some in like that, some on the outer side. So we'll start on the in. Let it sit like that. on the outer, mixed in, I'm going to do that all the way around, out, in, Dirty, where you been? I'm going to bring one there. Again, things are not just, you know, stick going one way down, they're coming outwards and inwards or in all directions um, to give that wispy look and also uh, the airy feeling. 
Now, if I placed in certain flowers and I wanted them, you know, like the there, there, then it won't, it'll start looking like a ring and things won't look wispy. So I'm keeping the stems longer instead of cutting them to a smaller size I'm keeping them longer so that airiness and I'm using floral what's airy as well so that helps I don't know what's happened here So by using elements that are wispy, that will add, you know, help with your the effect. Ooh, these got squashed in the transit. do the same thing so I'm going to cut the reds as well so I may not even use the daisies so we've got reds and yellows it's like a daisies, it's not daisies, gerberas, sorry. Oh, that was a bit of a delayed reaction from me, remembering what I'd said. Just pushing them all up. the red hydrangea on the end just so then that will pop and just bring it slightly down to keep watching my cat guys because there's a there's a box um, when I get an order like the wedding order and I order all the stock for it uh, I have to well I don't have to but the way I do it is I get a box big enough for like the lady who's getting married when every time the stock arrives for her order, I place them in a big box so I don't get them mixed up with mine. And I've always done that sort of thing. And there's a, a big, big box. <laughs> um, the orders for the wedding, the floral side of them have just started coming in. 
thought it had been delivered. And he spotted the box. As you can see, all the wispy, the sunny flowers. Are all going in, guys. Let me just turn them around. We're gonna need some up there. What do I need? Let me just check on something. Some bits like that around. Oh, daisies for the white. whether to put the daisies. Here we go, let's try all of these. Yeah, I think it'll be those. I think we'll keep the daisies up. So, let's get in. Again, I'm bringing some colour of each colour in and out and that's what I want to do so you can see so I can see now gaps and that's where I need to be placing things like that in the gaps So I can get under here. It's like a wild flower garden. I think I'm going to have to get one of these as well. Where the blue is.
Now I think I'm going. Oops. Going to place some yellow. So if you see, there's some yellow there, but also again, like I say, I don't mind seeing the grapevine on this occasion. Usually I like to, you know, cover it, but this is a totally different design. But I could place that there. You know, or just bring it slightly out here and then place another one here and go around with the clematis. So let's just take, I don't know, take those off for now. I still feel I need a fuller head. I did place it. Let me put those days in. Um, what did I place? Oh, I've got I think three on here. Two, three. Some orange, orange roses. So I may get those. Um, so I've got blue. I want to keep it bright and sunny, and I've got yellow. Let me just grab the yellow roses, guys. Oh my gosh. What am I like? Pale yellow. I have a pale yellow. Let's see. Let's see. Let me come and stand out and have a look. I can do it better. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, did you hear the tone of my voice there and it dropped? It's because of the style that we're creating. That's... No, oh, no, no. That, that's not right. That's not right at all. Something's telling me those. Not the yellow roses at all. So I think it's going to have to be the clematis. Yeah, let's stick with what we've got, guys. I'm not going to change my mind because I'm good at doing that. So let me just because isn't because all these ideas keep popping in my head. Ow, I've just burnt myself. Just look where I'm going to place these. Oh, stay there. Let's hook it in. One, two, three, four. Five. What are you doing, Mars? Six. Seven. Then again, I feel I need one here. Something's 
Some white pom pom chrysanthemums. Right, I'm gonna. Oh, I can smell the newness of the flowers. I'm gonna. One there. Again, I'm not gonna. And, you know, sitting them close to the wreath. I don't want that. I want to try and keep this wispy look. You know, where it's, the leaves are incorporated, you know, within it. And it's not getting close to the frame. Did I go here? Let me spot here anyway. And again, I'm not just doing some on the outs inside. I'm bringing. Oh, I've already glued that one in. Silly me. I'm bringing some on the inside as well. That was silly of me. properly when I get nearer to the front. I'm bring that one in. I feel that at the top, around here, it's just a little bit lonely. I don't want those in. Take two of these off. I'm going to bring another one of these in, but I'm going to bring it because you can see there's a little gap there. So I'm going to bring the fluffy bits at the bottom to sit there. So if I just turn it so I can see where to position it. Something similar on the bottom.
I don't think we need anything else. Just fluffle our bow. Yeah, I think that's it guys. There's your eerie, your different style of uh, wreath where it's just eerie. You know, there's no really big floral. Oh, look at my new elastic bands. They're really thick. Oh, they're, they're really strong. They're industrial ones. Don't know what that's supposed to mean. Well, I do, but they're very good. Um, so I'm not going to use any more of those either. So that is just your plain with your sign there and a colourful bow to use again. Whatever colours you have in your bow, try to incorporate uh, in your sign. Sorry, try to incorporate that into your bow, um, and then also your floral as well. Um, and then it will blend much much better um, as you can see I've got the fiddlehead fern with the bits of leather leaf in, into it I've got the Himalayan maiden hair fern the oriental ruscus um, and that is it guys with the greenery and um, for the flowers as you can see there's our baby gerberas in blue I'll say yellow, red, and also uh, we've got our red uh, hydrangeas with our yellow uh, clematis. And that is really all. And I've just gone, basically placed it and made it airy and coming from just not just one direction, bringing it from this direction, that direction. You know, as you can see, one's gone there, one's gone there, come here, one's gone here, you know, one's gone there. Bring some in the centre around your bow, you know, and same with the bottom. Some are facing that way, you know, with this, this is part of this uh, Oriental Ruscus, and I've placed this one pointing upwards while this, I've moved this one to position it downwards, you know, and just do that. Um, to give it that airy feeling and movement you know give it the natural movement where it's just wafting about in the wind so it'll be doing that and all will be I show I love doing this I do it with mine all will be when it's slightly windy moving naturally in the wind isn't that lovely so guys, I hope you enjoyed this, the video today. Um, I wanted to show you a wispy one. I can do them even different to this one, but I wanted, I didn't want to confuse, especially, you know, the beginners. I like to show the beginners an easy way of doing them first. And then if I decided one day I'll do it for the advanced people, you know, wonderful people, then I will do it more to an advanced um, style. But I've just done it as a more of a basic style, an easy style, you know, just basically, not just for the beginners, you know, for everybody to just give it a go and try with all your wispy, wispy foliage and everything and see what a different look that you get from, say like, you know, say like that, what we did, you know, where everything's around and it's all you know, full, this is area, you can see through to the uh, to the grapevine reef, on that one you can't, so another style. So guys, again, 
please subscribe, share and like and share to the world um, and you know, share to your dogs, your pets, your mums, your dads, your uncles, whoever guys, you know. Um, and have a wonderful day. I've got a few bits more of work to do but then I will done and I can now start doing the other planters. Now those 24 bunches of baby gerberas, these in pink have arrived. So guys, again, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll do a little close up, you know, um, again, please subscribe, share and like and have a wonderful day. I love you all guys. Thank you so much for all your subscribers and all your wonderful messages. You know, I sincerely do appreciate it. Have a great day, guys. God bless. I love you all. Take care. Bye-bye. Right, guys, let's just have a quickie look. Oh, that went better than yesterday. Oh, let me move this light. Oh, gosh, I have gone far up, haven't I? point the light right there's my welcome sign with my flip-flops <laughs> in it good and then the colors I've got in my flip-flops I've used in my bow and then I've got the baby blue gerbera the baby uh, red gerbera the clematis in yellow uh, the I don't know, the hydrangea in deep red. Um, I forgot which one I got to. Did I say the one in yellow? Yeah, the baby gerber in yellow as well. And then the fiddlehead fern, guys, here as you can see, all wispy. I love it. And got their own little kink. And then you've got your oriental ruscus here as well. And then your maiden hair, Himalayan maiden hair fern also. The uh, fiddlehead fern, as you can see when I, it's like crocodile teeth. But it's like, sort of like closed up like that. Um, and it's dust, you know, really waxed or dusted inside. You know, you get grey all over your fingers. But hey, oh, when it's nice, who cares? So, yes, guys, that's our little wispy, summery look uh, wreath. I hope you all enjoy. Give it a go, guys. In any colour, you know, you don't have to just do it what I've got. Do it even brighter, if you like. You know, and do you don't have to do it uh, as airy as me. You can, you know, add a bit more foliage in if that's, you know, your style. Whichever you may choose, guys, I'm sure it'll look beautiful. Again, all the best. Have a wonderful day and take care. Bye-bye for now. Bye.